Speaking of speed, we should definitely uh, will it rock for speed. So Keanu replaced. Oh, oh yeah. no, no, no. Sandra yeah. Bullock replaced <laughs> with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> yeah. Or is he the crazy old guy in the house? What's that guy's name? He's still alive. We should do a series called Will It Bullock. <laughs> you know what? We should. Oh, my god! We should. That's hilarious. We should. You know, because women should make the same as men. There you go. There you go. Cash money. You know who uh, who who doesn't make nearly enough money like they should? Who's that? Joseph Tilly. You know Is what? Is it too soon for that? Are uh, we far enough into this? Uh, are we good enough to actually they hit an intro in know. the <laughs> intro, not 18 minutes in? Joseph, take us there. Hey, guys. This is, uh, this is our very first... Uh, pop culture episode, and um, we thought we would actually talk about popcorn pop itself. Corn. That's pop where we're going to start. This popcorning uh, pop yep, culture. Popcorn. <laughs> but uh, so this one, we are going to be talking about Loki. You say this one. Look, more importantly, not only is this an episode about explaining Loki. Yeah, we're going to. This is it. a crossover. Should oh, we explain that right. right now? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Neil, you're better at words. So we're going to, um, we we are going to start on our Patreon page. We are going to start an ongoing series that is only available on Patreon, and that is explaining pop culture. And every single time that we're on there, we're going to be talking about different things, like what we're doing today. Like This is an example of it. We're going to be talking about Loki, but eventually we'll talk about other things that are happening in pop culture, n- like we, not just music, not yep. just movies, but streaming, television, um, actors, know, the internet, it, yeah, all, music. all of it. You already said music. Yeah. We'll talk about music twice. Yeah, that's I think social media is definitely a part of oh, pop culture. We, and that's one right. thing that we kind of know stuff about, I think. Yeah. I think we're, I don't want to say we're the best in the room. I would we're challenge somebody to a tickle fight over that, but I would definitely say we're. Uh, right. Excuse me, we're, tag team, <laughs> we're both tickle fight. I'll be Sting, you be Hulk Hogan. Oh, oh gosh. So this is uh, this is just a taste of what is going to be over on Patreon. And uh, what is our Patreon address? Patreon.com slash explain everything. Yep. This is the Explain Everything podcast. My name is uh, is Neil. And I'm Tyler today. And we- <laughs> Tyler today. <laughs> I'm Tyler today. Threw that in extra. Is there a comma in there? No. Nope. I'm Tyler today. Tarver. Tri- t- triple T is what they used to call me. <laughs> what they used to call him. Tyler today, Tarver. And this is the Explain Everything Empire. <laughs> got him thought we're building a podcast we're yep. building a city you actually cannot build a good podcast without good intro music though didn't we already do the intro music i don't know if it was too soon so we do it again welcome back joseph <laughs> hey how's it going welcome to the tyler and neil explain everything podcast now officially your fourth favorite podcast Hit the subscribe button and make sure you go to patreon.com slash explain everything to get exclusive episodes. Looks like we made it. Welcome back for a second intro because Neil was unhappy you with know our- who they should have had do their music. Uh, okay. Are, are we in it now? Are we no, actually we're, we're in, actually the, in, yeah. we're in it now. Yeah. I think the music in Loki is so good. So good. Like it, the intro music, it's so it's good. It's ominous, but it's also like mischievous. Um, yeah, it, yeah, it's it's yeah, mysterious it's a little bit. Up to something. It, that's it. It's up to something. It's up to something. No good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. <laughs> Got one little in the Marvel monster. universe. <laughs> so mischief managed. Loki is uh, is the third in the Disney Plus Marvel streaming, which is why most people actually got Disney Plus. It's for the streaming shows, yeah. like uh, Star Wars, like right. Mandalorian. I think pulled a ton. Oh, you're of right. That was the first, right? Yeah. And, and we talked a little bit about yeah. that. But then you're talking about like all the Avengers, like all the Marvel stuff moving off of Netflix because you yep. know Endgame and all of them were on. They were on there. I think Infinity War is for sure. I don't know if Endgame was ever on Netflix or if it started man, out. Think about that. That was not that long ago. No, you're man. talking about a couple years. Yep. And we've lost, they've lost the Office. They've lost Friends. They've lost all these things to Peacock and Paramount and um, and what is it? Disney Plus. They're pulling. Yeah. Bob Iger stepped back in to help the transition with Disney Plus, and they are oh, all in on yeah. it. Yeah, this, this is this is it. So uh, there is something in streaming that is is uh, is called dual uh, release. So you have movie theater release, theatrical like release, and actually streaming release at the same time. A lot of people think that's killing the industry, but what Disney Plus is doing, especially with Loki. So let's just talk about this. Loki okay. is a character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. 
And he's actually in like Marvel Comics as well. You do need to know those are two very different things. The yep. Marvel Cinematic Universe does not necessarily follow exactly what is in Marvel But will Comics. they pull stuff from there? 100%. Okay, so they'll like say, I like 80% yep. of the story, yeah. but we need to change this character, adjust this. Right, because, okay, so it's the same way if they if they write a, a novel uh, um, and then they want to make a movie out of it, you cannot make that thing exactly like the novel, so you have to adapt it. Now, what's interesting is real, real fanboys and fangirls very, very good, man. This is a very like man, yeah, we're doing equitable a good job. episode. Mm-hmm. We talked about Sandra Bullock is equitable to the rock. We could have just said fans, but real, real, <laughs> like honestly, like what what they do is the ones that really know the storyline and in the comics and all that kind of stuff. They're very intrigued and have buy in with the shows and the movies because they want to figure out like what is new, what is different. You yeah. got to keep them, you know at least intrigued. So. In uh, Loki is a six episode um, streaming, like season one. And most people didn't know if it was going to go to season two or season three. And they've no. already all signed on for season two, which yeah. which won't be out until next year. No. Uh, Disney Plus is also, if you want to know which one which shows are going to be out when, they, they have it all listed out for yeah. the rest of this year and the beginning of next. Yep. They've got a lot of them. And then I love how smart they are with like, Marvel's always been good about tying in, bringing in new characters in this one, and then it has their own movie. And then right. now they're doing that. And especially with this, you know, spoiler alert, multiverse opening up, yep. they have the options to start bringing in, pushing right. across. Actors from 20 years ago can bounce into a new movie. Yep. And it's like, they are, they, it's almost like you don't get to read the whole book or see the whole story if you don't have Disney Plus. Yeah. It's like, oh, I can right, go to the, right. thing. you know what? I don't want Disney Plus. I just want to see the nope. movies. Cool. You can go see Black Widow, but you're not going right. to have any context for the crossover part that right. happens with Loki or with something. They're else. definitely diversifying that, so they're they're kind of uh, what do they call it? If like your your um, your portfolio is being very diversified, very yep. so it's not just one over here. So Loki actually picks up, which is interesting. So and de- we definitely said it at the very beginning, but spoilers on this. If you haven't watched it, um, watch it. Push pause on this and yep. go watch the. Uh, Loki picks up after in the series of events after Endgame or not really not well yes I guess it does it technically picks it's, up in 2012 it, te- it picks up during in like Endgame it's almost like Endgame kept going and Loki yeah, yeah, yeah. bounced out but yeah. then you're right it wasn't modern day Endgame it was right. when they were in the past in it, Endgame in 2012 right. it, it is a version of 2012 but it's not the one that we necessarily knew exactly. so one thing that Disney's really smart about is people love Loki's character Yep. They, just, they absolutely love him. But if he dies in a movie, how can you possibly bring him back? Yep. This is how you do it. So the multiverse definitely has some, uh, some potential to bring some of these guys back. So that's where Endgame actually picks up after that. Um, Loki, do you know what the first movie was that he showed up in? Was it the first Thor? Yeah, which okay. which and that's when Thor had the slicked back mullet uh, version of Thor. Not yeah, the we're friends not from funny, work. No, not joking no. around. It was very no. serious. Very way watch too me do serious. This, yeah. Natalie Portman. Yeah. <laughs> I will stand there with so, my strong arms. All right, so let's talk a little bit of spoilers and Easter eggs and all those kind of things. In that very first uh, Thor, Natalie Portman's character is running uh, through one scene, and she has on her shirt what looks like an orange clock face. It's a smiley face clock. People have screen grabbed that and tried to figure out if that shirt is actually a character that is in Loki. Which is, what is Mr. Miss, Mrs. Smiley Time? Miss Minutes. No, Miss it's minutes. Mr. It's, it's, it's not Miss Mi- Smiley Time? <laughs> oh Miss Smiley Time? Gosh. I kind of like my name. They missed a really good opportunity I've there. always said about Miss Smiley mm-hmm. Time. Yep. Started with Forrest Gump when he put his mud face on the shirt and made a smiley hey, face. Hey, you know how you can get like knockoff movies and you're like, wait a minute, that's not the movie I thought it was going to be. That You go buy a, a kid's toy at the store and you're like, oh, yeah. hey, kids, I, I brought it home to you. It's Miss smiley, Miss smiley Time. You're like, that's Dad, not- that's not right. And you're like, yeah, kids, you're using your Nintendo. <laughs> so it's like, that's a PlayStation, <laughs> Mom. Oh, gosh. So Loki uh, started off in Thor and then he's obviously in Thor Dark World. He is definitely mischievous. He is definitely, I would say, not trustworthy. No, he was the main bad guy in the first Avengers. Right. Like, people died because of him. Yes. So um, he's... he's a, Agent Coulson. He's an anti-hero, is what he yes. is. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. a bad guy, yep. which honestly, man, those I've found through shows and movies, like, those are the people that people resonate with. Like, they... Because yep. we're not all good or right. all bad. And, like, we see these heroes, and it's almost like they're untouchable, unattainable. Superman never right. makes a mistake. 
we make mistakes. And so it's like almost like we can empathize with the good, bad yep. of an anti-hero. So think about like what Maleficent did with Disney. Yes. They took someone that in one version of this movie is a bad guy. And they're now there were a lot of people, especially um, some message boards, we'll say that, that people are so upset because Disney and all these other companies are taking these characters are supposed to be bad. And they're telling it from their point of view, making them look good. And they're like, ah, this is terrible. But what it is, is it's, it's, um, people can identify with them because yeah. they're not always the hero. I don't think I'm the hero and I'm not the villain, but where's this in between? They're showing yeah. it from different standpoints. So giving context to people's decisions. Cause that's the thing. Nobody says like, Oh, I just want to do bad stuff. No. Like people like Loki, he wants to take over the world. Yeah. To probably do what he thinks is best for people. Yeah. It's not make, you know what does he say? I don't want you to make, it's He's tough great. to make decisions. <laughs> you know, that's I don't want actually, you to have free will. And he says that that's, that's actually his catchphrase right before he destroys a lot of things. He's like, what was it? What was the phrase you just said? I don't know. You don't want free will. Said, I want. I want to do nice things. I want to do. I want what, to do this is for your own good. For your own good, Mister. <laughs> so, um, th this uh, his character definitely goes through this this arc. But this is a different version of Loki. This yeah. is a new version of Loki, and he gets caught in, in the the TVA. Yep. In which the is TVA. the the what is TVA stand for? Time Variance Authority. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds right. Wow. Wow. We should do another episode. Right? This season. Sure. <laughs> Amazing. So they they bought uh, some pretty high rated star power. Um, wow! Wow! <laughs> oh gosh, I absolutely love it. He crashed that wedding. Yeah. Oh, a little bit of a crossover there. Yeah. So um, Mobius's character, which one of the Wilson brothers is it? It's Russell Wilson. Russell sure. Wilson. <laughs> yeah. He was taking a break. Him and Sierra, they made Owen, a cameo. Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson. Yeah. yeah. Owen, Owen Wilson, Wilson is. I mean, he is a. I would say he's an A-list actor. Yes, I so mean he's a big name. To 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 play a character in in this, uh, you know he's a main guy. So one thing that does happen a lot of times in movies and shows like this, when you see one of them die off, and you know there's three more episodes, you're going, ah, eh, he's. Probably, I don't know. Yeah, he's probably coming. He's back. almost like too much of like his time is so valuable. He's not just going to be a cameo. Right. Like yep. he's either a cameo, or right, he's right. going to roll in and be like the whole thing. And. Uh, okay, so I do something. I don't know if you do it. I look at the movie poster sometimes. Yep. And Miss Minutes is on there. This animated. So you realize like there is a much larger role that she has in there. And I try and figure out like what is going on with what's happening here. Yep. Uh, this is uh, Disney Plus's highest rated and highest watched. Streaming. Over the Mandalorian? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm surprised. I thought the Mandalorian was like. The so big one. even out of the Marvel, um, uh, out of the the three Marvel uh, streaming shows that have been on there, this is top. After that is WandaVision. After that is uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yep. So um, all three very good. All solid. They're very different. Yes, they're very different. Very different uh, style. Everything, which is good because that's like Marvel movies. Yep. Like Ant Man is different than Black Panther, which yes. is different than Thor, yep. and even Thor is different than Thor three. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ragnarok, so, low key, one of the best. Marvel. We should it, do like a Marvel countdown of the best Marvel movies. Oh, yeah. Have we done that? Did we no, do Marvel we, Cinematic? No, we haven't, but we, should, we talked about Marvel Cinematic Universe, but we should definitely count them down. Okay. I would put that one way Top 10. Top we should do it on our new TikTok though. we just started. Oh. What is it? We'll have to all look it up while you say the next thing. <laughs> <laughs> we, we haven't posted to it yet, but um, we hear good things. So it just ended after the sixth episode, and just like any good show, it did not end answering questions. It ended actually posing more questions. It kind of, what it does is it gets you the end of this. Like any any episode of, of a good show, like or, or season finale of a good show, it ends and you're just like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen now? That's what they want. They want that. So that's where it ended, and it really set loose the next phase, which is phase four of everything that Marvel is doing, which I would say, hands down, the the word, like if you think of one word that comes out of Loki, what's the word? Multiverse. Multiverse. Because you are setting it up to where, yep. as anything. Kevin Garnett would say, anything is possible. <laughs> That's the thing. It's like, oh, you have, now you have the option to not only, oh, you know what? Iron Man's dead. Yeah, you know what? In that yep. universe, in yeah. this one. He, yeah. he beat him on the planet, or yeah. he's a bad guy, or whatever. Or he's a completely different person. Did you hear about Chris Evans? He signed on as uh, Hydra Captain America. I heard a rumor. No I don't know if it's true or not, way. but he's going to play a bad guy Captain America in one of the upcoming stuff. Okay, so the next series that is coming up on Disney Plus after this one is a, is an episode or a, a series called What If, which really yes. asks the, the cartoon, question, right? Animated. Yes, so it's a cartoon, but it's voiced by all of the regular people. Like, yeah, they're all there. And honestly, so Chadwick Boseman is in there. Did he? Did he record it? Before he, he actually passed recorded. Away? 
Yes. So it's his voice as Black Panther, which is going to be like really the last, the last thing that he has done. Yeah. Um, as far as like our three v three, we we do a kind of like a three on three. Yeah. Loki, we could talk about a lot of things. There are a lot of spoilers that, that are out there. There are a lot of theories. I think one of the best things is how it ended yep. with Kang the Conqueror. Yeah, Not he. As, okay, that he, actor. What's his name? John, Jonathan Majors. Okay, Jonathan Majors. He was absolutely incredible. Like it. Like you think like. You know, Tom Hiddleston, he's a British. Mm, British yeah. people take acting very seriously. Yeah. They're not like, I want to be rich, <laughs> blah, 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 right, have a mansion. Right. Like, they're legit. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> okay, I don't Whatever, it's our show. We do oh, whatever gosh, we yeah. I'm sorry. I, we were going to Go stay on topic, it. but I ruined it. Do it. And I was like, Tom needs to talk less. We <laughs> talked too much about cards. I'm going to talk. Cards are Listen, important. that's what Neil said. He said, you shut your mouth. Don't you talk about no I cards. Did. I did it off camera. So though. this card of Loki. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so there was a thing, and Owen Wilson was behind the scenes talking about it. He, Have you seen this? Where he was sitting at the table with Tom Hiddleston, and they were like supposed to be just talking, and they were filming B-roll, and they yeah. were just chatting. Yeah. And uh, he says something. Uh, Loki. I'll say Loki. Yeah. Loki says, um, you know, some quote. And Owen Wilson goes, is that Shakespeare? You know, however he says it. Is that Shakespeare? And he goes, yes. He's, it was from Hamlet. He said, he, he, and he goes, did you play Hamlet? Yeah. And he go, and Owen Wilson's telling this story back. And he said, and Tom just, you know, in his British kindness goes, yes, it was, I played Hamlet. He said, have you ever played Hamlet? And Owen Wilson says, I'm sitting here thinking, yeah, there's no-, <laughs> no time in my life, no time in my life has anyone ever asked if I've played Hamlet? No, He's no. like, Ben Stiller's never looked across the table for me and said, have you played Hamlet? Uh, no, I'm sorry. What we were talking about no. before I ruined it? Well, uh, oh, that, Majors. He was absolutely incredible as Kane the Conqueror. Like, I'm so excited for somebody of his caliber yep. coming in. And literally from the one episode he was in, I was like, he played that. Yeah. Perfectly. Uh, so he downplayed it so much. So the uh, I've read too much on this. They wanted to make so you could build up towards this last episode, the season finale, and everybody's really excited about it, and do this massive fight scene. And they downplayed it, and they used Quentin Tarantino's version of dialogue that builds tension that you don't know where it's going to go. They used that model because it was easier to create character development for what's going on in the future because if this is the first movie he's in by the way he's signed on for every other movie he is playing he's committed and he's playing so this is just because he's got a multi version he can play himself we probably want to see this guy again well no. no he's the he's the original earth version is what he said he's um he's the original from like 31st century He who remains is who he is he's but he's the he is the he is the the main timeline original okay. version. I'm pretty sure because I rewatched it and he says that and okay. he, cause he starts with, there was, you know, uh, I realized I could bounce dimensions then others of us, blah, blah, blah. And then he talks about the war and then he says he, the original also right. is the one that got the powers of that ghost dog or whatever oh, it's yeah. called. What is it? Ethereum? Oh, it's his name. Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. Know. You know, I could call him smoke monster, <laughs> lost Scooby-Doo. That's what I might call him, smoke monster. So uh, at the very end of the episode, when Loki obviously shows back up and he's there with Mobius and uh, I can't remember a- her name. B-18, B-19, something like that? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Android 18? Yeah. That's mm-hmm. from Dragon Ball that's Z. Her. Can we explain Dragon Ball Z sometimes? Sure. Yeah. I need you to explain to you. You really want a low-rated <laughs> low <laughs> episode. Let me talk about DBC. Loki shows up and they're, they're in the other version of the alternate reality or the t- timeline yep. he was in there were the the time lords what were they called the time the machine time keepers? The, three, the time keepers or statues were up there in this one it's actually jonathan major's character it's just king the conqueror and it's king the conqueror and if you notice what he's wearing in that that actually shows you that is more like the version that we will see with him yep. that has the helmet on and all that he's kind of the stuff. one that if he's the one that controls the tva he's the one that defeated the rest of the king of the conquerors right so it's like he talks about essentially he is the most powerful being across smart, like he's the most powerful being yep. across each universe. Right. And then essentially no one can battle him. So he battles himself. Yeah. How crazy. Because not that? only does he want to control his, Gosh. but all the multiverses and the one who remains, the one that we see in the episode, he's the one that won because he got control of that dog that yeah. defeated the rest. This one that we see, it's like, okay, he is now the most powerful of all the other ones. But it's like he could be the bad guy for it. It's not one. I mean, essentially, there were two Thanoses that they had to defeat. The one right, that happened, yeah, and then yeah. the one they went back and then came forward. So if you're if you're writing out this, you know, they ended after Endgame. Thanos, the bad guy, they win all the stuff. Yeah, it's it's like a great ending. But you realize Marvel's going to keep going. You have to have someone 
who is even worse. And that's what this is. You know, there's a, I read there's a thing in one of the comics that Thanos teamed up with the Avengers to try to fight yeah. Kang the Conqueror. Yeah, and Hatchet, Kang the Conqueror, and he, got, and he, got destroyed. he killed him. Like, he grabbed his head and, like, aged him. He aged him down to just a skull and bones. Yeah, there's crazy. nothing left. It's so uh, there's, a, there's a moment that actually kind of shook me in the very first episode when they show uh, a drawer full, like, in a filing cabinet in the office in the TVA of all the Infinity Stones. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, that's literally like a paperweight Means around nothing. here. Means nothing. Means nothing. And you're, you're like... Oh, we're dealing with something that is... The stakes are higher. Right. So, you, like, people always talk about, like, the speed of light and light can do all this stuff, whatever. The most powerful thing in the universe is actually gravity because you're talking about, like, black it's holes and all this kind of stuff. Right? everything else. Right, yeah. yeah. And, and so, like, in this scenario, they had to come up with what is worse than Thanos. The Kang the Conqueror is way worse because you think you could be one of them. Guess what? There are an infinite amount of other versions. Yeah, so, they can bounce. And that's the thing yeah. that makes him powerful is that he can bounce across those those different yeah. multiverses. He knows how to travel interdimensional. Yep. As opposed to like, you know, Captain America who's like, yeah. hey, here's my shield. You know, he can't. So Sylvie uh in this in in this show is a another version. What do you think of, of her? Uh, at first, I didn't like her. Yeah. I'm like, well, this is going to be a throwaway character. Oh, no, you guys are really sticking yeah. with this because we didn't know where it was going. But it, she, and they do it really well. That you, that character grows on you after a while. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it, it, it caught me off guard there a little bit at the beginning. I'm, I have to think about an episode after it's done. You can't ask me like 10 minutes after, like, what'd you think? Because I'm not smart, Tyler. I don't know. <laughs> um, the smartest boy in the whole world, Neil. So if we were to go three versus three. Welcome to the party, pal. This is 3v3. Can I explain it? Please because do. I cut you Please off do. and started talking. Explain it. Um, <laughs> so we're going to do a draft. What we're going to do is, based on anybody that showed up in the show... We're going to take turns drafting, drafting. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? I don't know, but I love it. Uh, we're going to take turns drafting. You were from North Dakota for a I don't know what that was. <laughs> we're going to take turns drafting characters, and then at the end we'll look up and say, okay, who would win in a battle? 3v3. That's how we're – because 3v3 is a, a segment we started here, and yeah. we'll see if it sticks. Yeah. We'll see if it sticks like a thing you bought out of a Pizza Hut quarter machine, <laughs> sticks to the ceiling, stays there for six years. Oh, those little hand things. Yeah, <laughs> they're always stuck in everybody's ceiling. Okay, so Neil, since I won't shut up, I'll let you have the first pick in the draft. Oh. Yeah, um, so who would you pick? I'm going with Alligator Loki. <laughs> the Alligator Loki, I'm just telling you, I, there's something about the I, Look, he's still, he was still around. He didn't get killed. No, he did not, man. He did not. That's, no. my, that's my number Only one Only thing pick. that stops alligators, moats. <laughs> Dang it! If they build a moat, we're then hosed, you're done man. for. Well, it might not have been a great pick. Well, okay, I'll take <laughs> Kang the Conqueror. Oh, <laughs> feeling well, better about my chances. I gave you the first you pick. And yeah, you, yeah. It's like you got the uh, what's the, the dude way. the Cavs drafted that one the Giannis draft Anthony Bennett. You and Anthony Bennett, and I went and grabbed Giannis. Delvadova? Nah, nah, not him. Go for it. Who's your second pick? Um, honestly, it's uh, uh, Mobius. Okay. I think so he good. knows way more than what, and he's been around for who knows how long. Yeah. He is a variant. They all are. Yep. I feel like he knows more. It's just like he doesn't say what he knows. Um, Grant, he's limited by some of the technology and all that kind of stuff, but I feel like in a pinch, I want the guy who, who knows where the hard drives are. That's good. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Plus, his story's not over. He's going to ride a jet ski. His story ends with him on a, a jet ski. hundred percent, yes. Has to happen. Okay. Well, my second pick, I'll take uh, Miss Sunshine. What's her name? Happy Face Sunshine? <laughs> Smiley Sunshine Face? Smiley Happy Face. Smiley Sun Happy Face? Miss Sunshine. Miss Sunshine. Yeah. The person who has access to the archives, I want her on my team. Because whatever she went and found for the principal, what's her name? The principal lady that uh, ran the TVA uh, at the end? Yeah. I don't know what her name is. Okay. But yeah. Well, whenever, um, <laughs> uh, whenever she said, I think this will be more important, whatever she gave her. Ravona. Ravona, whatever she gave her, the Captain Smiley face. What's her name? Tom face. Car, car, car. Uh, Nick Jr. Miss, Miss what's Sunshine. her name? Miss Sunshine. Is it really? No. You what's, said Sunshine. Earlier. What is it? Miss it is. Clock Keeper. That's Miss Minutes. Miss Minutes. Gosh, I'm going to get it eventually. It's okay. Miss Minutes bounced off and says, I think this is more important. Whatever she read on that index card or whatever it was. <laughs> oh, Lord. She is off to go do that. I yeah. think she is going to assist the evil, like the one that won, the Kang the Conqueror that won. Oh yeah, that's 100%. what hundred percent. So, but I, anyways, I want Miss Minutes because she knows where to get the information that can guide people's paths. Wow. 
Okay. Wow. Who's your third pick? Um, I like classic Loki. He was solid. He was um, solid. He, he he. The fact that he got what was really going on there at the end, and he like classic Loki is amazing. His costume didn't fit him well. It was like he was wearing baggy sweatsuit. It was like he was wearing a Halloween costume out of a bag version of himself. Yep. But he still had a lot of. I mean, he had some pretty. He had some mad skills there at the end. He really he had did. ups. He's illusions, say that. illusions, <laughs> father. Illusions. No touching. No touch. There's always money in the banana stand. Oh my gosh, I, I, would just, I just think like that. I think that I don't know what it is. I like to know the the guys that actually do know what's going on. Although Miss Minutes definitely knows what's going on. Yeah, she ain't here to play. That's my top three. That's okay. my draft. Well, my third is uh, Sylvie. I liked her. Yeah, I, it was like same with did you. You like her right out of the gate? No, I did no. not. I was like, oh come on. I was like, how are they going to fight? And then I'm like, oh. They're not going to fight. They're yeah. going to fall yeah. in love. That's yeah. awesome. And I just, I don't know, like mad respect for her as a kid coming out and then just like bouncing in and out of Nexus events. Like, I think that's awesome. And so. Can I go to free agency and draft one more? <laughs> sure. The lady sitting inside that weird Airstream uh, camper that shot everybody that came to her front door. Oh, I want her too. I don't know who yes. she is. Do we, are we still talking about her? Nobody even talks about her. No, but we should be. <laughs> okay, well then I get a draft and okay. I want the dude who has all the infinity stones in his desk. Yeah, for real. There was a lot of theories going around that he was Kang the Conqueror. Oh my god! Did gosh. you see that? Like, Because he has all those infinity stones. So here's my thing. He comes in as an alternate. We're like, hey, give us what's in your desk. He hands us 1,800 <laughs> infinity stones that he's got like marbles. And then we bounce on earth and we're the most powerful beings in the world. Okay, so who wins in a battle? What if those are Skittles? Taste the rainbow. Hey, I mean, that's actually how Skittles got started. A lot of people. <laughs> who wins that one? Yeah, who wins that battle? You versus uh, me. You, I mean, what's your team uh, again? A hundred percent. It's uh, Alligator Loki. It's Classic Loki. Seeing a trend there on that one. And then um, who was the other one? I don't remember. Who did I say? Mobius. I mean, Mobius. Yeah, that, yeah, that's my that's my three. Mine were Kang the Conqueror, <laughs> Sylvie. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. And Miss Smiley Face Sunshine. Yeah. Well, listen, we may get killed, but we're going to have way more fun. It's illusions, Vana. <laughs> <laughs> way more fun. So good. Cultural impact. This thing I see on TikTok, probably because TikTok knows how much I cannot stay away from this. It's like crack cocaine to me. I don't have a I don't have a drug problem, but I do love these videos. Me too. Like a lot of these Easter eggs and spoilers. And did you know? Yeah. In the what? Uh, just those accounts, I love. There was one thing that I found out on TikTok that was like, oh my gosh, and it's it has to be true. How to clean your shower? How to clean? Just no, a squeegee? Yes. No. I mean, with hacks? regards to the show, <laughs> oh, Loki. Oh, okay. Okay. Was there anything like? Can I say the one? Yeah. Go. Is for it. it okay? Yep. So there's a moment in Loki. It's whenever, you know, Kang the Conqueror, or I call him the one who remains, we'll call him that. The one who remains, he's sitting there, and it's like he's predicting, he's got the, 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 the typewriter of everything that's going to happen. Right. And there's, you hear this thunder, and there's this moment, he like looks off to the side, and he like drops something and goes, I don't, I don't know what's next. I yeah. don't know what's happening next. It's like the biggest Nexus event happened, right. and somebody timed that up with the last episode of uh, WandaVision. And the moment when she becomes the Scarlet Witch is that moment yeah. when he feels that. And he said, I don't know what happened. Anything could happen now. Anything. I think she is, she caused the greatest next, because she is chaos. And if you go back right. in WandaVision, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's her name? Agatha. She says, you're not supposed to exist. Yeah. You have no idea. You don't have no idea what you've done. What you've done. She essentially broke all the timelines and all, like all the timelines. She broke out that timeline and yeah. built out the multiverse and it's like at the end of the episode when she hears her kids that's them from another dimension uh -huh. and she's about to go and probably defeat herself to get her kids back and I think it is the amount of detail that Marvel puts into it it's not like okay we'll make a movie and then we'll figure it out later they plan these things so well right. and it's like you could make an entire show off of easter eggs from the show of ways it connects to other things and there's stuff that doesn't connect for like years like in the first Iron Man when he like gets hit or something or something happens, he's like, I can't feel my left arm. And then literally they end it with a snap from his arm. Yeah. And it's like that, it ties Connected everything. all together. I wonder how much of that they knew when they started or they figure it out as they're going. And they have people that are like, uh, on, on any set, you have a script supervisor that's double checking to make sure that the continuity is there. You know they've got a team of people. This is all they think about. It might even be callbacks to little other things yeah. that we're looking at and we're like, oh my gosh, they planned it the whole time. Well, 
I would say 75% of it they planned, and they figure out little ways to continue to tie it together that didn't necessarily exist. Yep. I, I, I love how intentional they are. Uh, what that does is that actually leads into why I think they're really smart. Netflix gives you the entire series in one day, and Disney's never done that. Mm-hmm. Disney Plus has never done that. They give you one at a time. What do you think about that? 100% love it. Yes, and I, I, at first I hate it because I'm like, I just want to go and watch them all. Right. But now, like, I watch it with my son, and yeah. so it's like I'm sitting here and we talk about it. You we have give theories. time to talk about you it. You have time to have theories because yeah. if, if not, I'm, the next episode starts immediately, and I'm like, okay, cool. I don't have to think about it. Nope. It creates that water cooler talk. Where There's you not as much theory. weight. No. Also, it lets people speculate. No. Um, it makes a cliffhanger really a cliffhanger, and you have to it, – it's like you earn it. Yep. You're like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to order. Well, guess what? You're going to have yeah. to. You feel more invested in the show because you put more mind power and time yep. and energy into it. And then it gives people like creators like us, what's up? Check us out at Explain hey. Everything Podcast on Instagram and TikTok. I, make that noise. I just recorded our first TikTok while you were talking earlier. That's incredible. Yeah, it's, it has no context for anybody. <laughs> and so it's well, going to be great. find out. Oh, you'll Easter know. eggs in that you'll one. Learn. Sydney and I watch this one. We also caught up on all the other shows together. And this was like our, our thing. Like, I'm going to sit down and watch this. Or my son is texting me, hey, because I, I think the last episode came out at like three in the morning or two in the morning. And he stayed up until it actually, hey, kids, stay in school, um, do your chores, uh, work hard. But he stayed up and then he's texting Sydney and I. Like, we have group texts on theory stuff and whatever. And it's just like a fun thing to experience. I know now what it was like for my dad to have seen a few of the Star Wars movies and then also take his kids to experience it. Yeah, so. that's really cool. It's like my dad with, like, him and I got into cards together, and it was like a thing we and did together. And so, full circle. It's cool. Look at us. Speaking of, let's just start the cards episode all over again. I'm just kidding. Do you like how that was the episode where I showed things and we don't have video for it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god. Yeah, gosh. man. It was so good. But we got video hey, for this where we're just talking. That one's on me. That one is on What's me. What's up? All right, so, uh, will it rock? The question on everyone's mind Will it rock? The answer is probably yes. It's a great question. This is my favorite oh segment. My I say it every time because it is. Will it rock? How does the rock fit into this? First off, what would be the perfect role what for role? the rock if you swap out someone and put Dwayne the Rock Johnson into this show? Who is he? I, you, you know mine. Go. It's Miss Minutes. A hundred percent. He oversells it. It's Over. like what? Okay, what he did for uh, Moana with uh, yeah. with Maui. Yeah, he would do the exact same thing. Absolutely, he's a singer, man. <laughs> I'm a singer. Well, <laughs> I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a, I'm a singer. <laughs> Honestly, I thought I was listening to the Rock right there. Uh, it's hard. I'm, to, a, I'm a singer. <laughs> I'm a singer. Uh, he's uh, he would he would oversell it. He yeah. would way overplay it. It would be. Um, It'd be too much. Yeah. And can you have too much of a good thing? Uh, not when it's Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> yeah. That's why we literally come up with scenarios to yeah. insert him into everything in the world. Mm-hmm. So that's great. That's a perfect choice. I would say, like every other role I can think of him is like stuff he would actually do. I could see him, if he was Mobius, I could see it, but it's more like um, that dude who's in, like the big boat up dude that is in Brooklyn Nine-Nine, how he plays like, he's yes. boat up in yeah, a rip, Terry but he Cruise. plays like a like kind of soft dude. Uh-huh. It's like, you wouldn't want him to make it a joke, but if he was just like regular, like you didn't look at him like, you know, you get the rock where he's like, I can, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, yeah, what did he yeah. do? Punch a car through what? a window? I don't know, something stupid. He caught a car out of Please, the air, yeah. ripped his cast off. Ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Fast and Furious, the rock. That's right. That's like the most rock you get is like Hobbs and Shaw. Yep. I am borderline superhero, but really an FBI agent. Yeah. Or you get like, <laughs> The Rock, where he's like, you know, a little sissy, you know? Yeah. Like, you don't want to make it a joke. He would have to play it perfect. Like, I'm a regular dude. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little yeah. bit bigger, but I don't address my muscles like I'm a superhero. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's interesting. So you say that. Uh, in Suicide Squad, directed by James Gunn, which is coming out in about a month, Yep. Uh, Sylvester Stallone plays that shark character. It's a CG character. It's not even real. And yeah. they wrote that role specifically for him. You don't put Sylvester Stallone in the movie because he is too iconic, he's too big, but he can play an absolute lunatic of a character as a CG whatever. And I think in certain situations, you're right, you have to play it just yeah. right because the tone could be wrong yep. and it would be really bad. And then you would get, uh, what is those prison movies where it's him and Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, they're trying to the break expendables? out? Like, no, well, <laughs> uh, you- well, we should be in prison for watching those. That's, That's for totally sure. different. 
Uh, Will it rock? Yeah, I, I think he would definitely do well there. Also, we did talk about Will it Bullock. Um, Will it Bullock? Where does Sandra <laughs> play into this? She would do a good principal. Remember in the proposal when she was like really strict and mean? She would be yeah, a good principal. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Angela? Andrea. <laughs> Rog- Rihanna. What's and, her name? And, uh, uh, Ramona. Ramona. Oh, I was close. Rihanna. Rihanna, Angela, <laughs> mixed together. Will there you go. Will it Rihanna? There you go. Will it Rihanna? Hey, this new segment. Will it Rihanna? Mm. <laughs> Uh, I'm I, I'm I, uh, this is my favorite of the three of the three uh, of the shows. three shows so far. I liked all three of them for different reasons. Yeah, yeah. I just I'll give you that. if I'm going to pick a favorite, I'm probably picking Loki because of how into it my son was. Mm. And I, I'll be honest, Neil. Like I've told you this before, I love time travel. Oh, like that's all that. right. I love it. Like season five of Lost, everybody's, Ugh, I love it. Yeah. I absolutely yeah. <laughs> adore time travel, um, butterfly Keep effects, making those all movies that stuff. I love Tyler. it. And so I'd probably say Loki was my favorite as well. Yep. So, uh, I would say go watch it. I don't know necessarily when next season comes out, but they are definitely confirmed. Everybody has signed on for it. Yep. Uh, Jonathan Majors has signed on for uh, almost Everything. every movie he's going He's in forward. Ant-Man is the next one he's in, right? Yeah. And he is playing Kang the Conqueror. Yeah, he's playing the one it's that's not mean. necessarily right. The yeah. bad guy. Because mm-hmm. yeah. this one's pretty much dead, right? I mean, yeah. unless we oh, see yeah. him he's, he's some dead. other way. He's dead. Yeah, we'll what, see. What if he was just holding his breath? <laughs> I just pulled my headphones out. I laughed so hard. Sorry. It's like, I'm, I'm he who remains because Only I the can YouTube really hold my breath. <laughs> holding my breath. All right. That's, All right. Uh, that is our pop culture explaining Loki. That's our first episode of our... Because, okay, so let's explain this, okay? Mm-hmm. So the main timeline is yeah. our Explain Everything podcast, which right. is completely free. Every Monday, we are going to drop those. Yep. Season two has already started. You're in season. You're in the midst of yeah, season you're two. You're in season two. You're in season two. Now- You're in trouble. There's going to be an alternate timeline, okay? The Explain Everything Empire starts here. Yep. So we were a podcast, and we were doing every Monday. Now, we are going to have Beep these boop. popping out, a pop culture-focused podcast, either music, movies, TV- internet we're gonna post one of those a week as well right. okay every now and then we'll put it on the main account like this yeah. one because it's yeah. our first one but then every week so if you want twice the fun this is us giving you dessert before you've actually eaten your food oh my goodness which is the best way to have dessert right absolutely because it's like if i'm gonna get full i want to get full when it's time to eat grits not when it's time <laughs> to eat you know a, a chocolate mold nobody cake. but josh rawls wants to get full on grits no he loves man, extra yeah, butter really pizza pro does the best grits and so <laughs> Whatever. I love inside jokes. And so uh, if you want to be clear with you and erase confusion, we are going to continue to give you a free episode of Explain Everything. That's kind of anything we want to explain every Monday. If you want a pop culture focused one every week, we are doing those in addition on our Patreon, patreon.com slash explain everything. And you can join there and we're going to offer that. Join in, tell your friends. And whoever brings the most friends, we're going to buy them a MacBook Air picture framed <laughs> and that's it <laughs> that was so dumb i was like well, we'll start, we'll start doing add, giveaways i wanted to add to it but i knew it would only cost more if it i would only cost more, more money yeah yeah uh digitally it's an <laughs> nft we're gonna do an nft that's our first NFT. which we are gonna explain nfts at some point we are okay yep. so if you want to join that patreon.com slash explain everything if you like this if you like the focus on if you like movies tv shows stuff like that um, then join us over there. If not, stay here with us every Monday, yeah. and we'll bring you the heat. If you Starring, like inside jokes that you have no idea what they're about, come back. Yeah, You're going to hear more back. of those. There's more of those. You'll be a part of the squad. We're going to get great. some merch made. We're going to get merch made, bro. Tattoos. We got stickers. We do have stickers. We got the stickers. I got stickers on my We got stickers. Rate us five stars, right and there. we might give you a sticker. We're going to randomly pick somebody to, to, eat, to mail a sticker. Go on, give us a five-star rating on Apple iTunes. There you go. Apple iTunes. <laughs> Wow, I just became my dad. <laughs> you kids quit playing your Nintendo so loud. Rated five stars on Steve Jobs. Steve what? Jobs. Did you have, they took our jobs. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming. And I just really appreciate you. Um, thanks really for coming do. to my Love TED it. Talk. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Explain Everything podcast. You can follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube at Explain Everything Podcast. We're on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. But you're already here. We love you. No. Actually, we're in love with you. (laughs) Thanks for coming to our TED Talk. Bye.